Are you tired of feeling powerless? Constantly trying to regain that masculine energy. But how do you tap into that power? Enter seven habits that will amp up your manliness in no time. And let us tell you, it is way more work than just growing a beard and cultivating a deep voice. But once you set yourself on this journey, there's no way but up and up. So put on those manly boots and let's get started. Number one, bringing out the warrior energy. First things first, you need to tap into that little warrior inside you that has taken a backseat. The knight in shining armor just requires some polish. How can you do that? Simple, hit the gym and work on your strength. No, we're not talking about lifting a pint of beer to your mouth. We mean lifting some actual weight. Not only will this make you physically stronger, but it will also boost your testosterone levels, which is basically the fuel that drives your inner warrior. But if you're not into pumping iron, we have another tip for you. Consider taking up martial arts or boxing. It will help you learn some sweet moves that will impress your friends and enemies. Plus, it will also help teach you discipline. And if you know, there's nothing like the adrenaline rush of a good sparring session to make you feel alive. Let's also not forget the other benefits of exercise. It releases stress, boosts your mood, and gives you an endorphin rush. That masculine energy will come out oozing. Now, what are you waiting for? Your inner warrior is just waiting to be unleashed. Number two, start actively taking responsibility. The secret to becoming the man you want is just a basic step away. You need to start taking radical responsibility for your life. What does that mean? Well, in simple terms, that means no more playing the victim and blaming others for your problems. A true masculine man is not a whiny baby. He is the lead protagonist of his own life. It's time to own your actions, your happiness, and your mind. Sure, it is tempting to wallow in self-pity and play the woe is me card, but no man. That's just giving away your power. You are not a damsel in distress. And if we're being real over here, nothing is less manly than feeling powerless. You need to step up and take ownership of your life. Take control of your thoughts and emotions and don't let external factors dictate how you feel. We get it, life is tough most of the time. But that's no excuse to give up and play the victim. You're a warrior, damn it! When you're leveling up to take radical responsibility, you are setting up to become the master of your own destiny. You'll have the power to create the life you want and become the man you want to be. Hence, you have no time to be a victim. It's time to become a hero and fuel that masculine energy. Number three, you give, you do not take. Masculinity is all about being an initiator and a giver, both in and out of the bedroom. And well, who doesn't want to be known as a generous lover? But here's the thing. You can't bring out the giver energy if you're not securing yourself. That means facing your fears, making mistakes, and moving forward towards your goals. Being passive and lazy will kill that energy inside you faster than a cold shower. You gotta take the initiative in all areas of your life. It doesn't matter if it's at work, in your relationships, or in the bedroom. The thing is, if you're constantly afraid to make mistakes or even take risks at all, you're setting yourself up to become a downer. You cannot grow and bring that masculine energy to the table. Now, when it comes to your performance in bed as well, drive your focus to become a giver, not a taker. Focus on your partner's pleasure and make sure they're satisfied. That gives a boost to your masculinity, and what's more satisfying than that? A powerful man is confident and secure in his abilities, so don't be afraid to take charge and show your partner a good time. If you want to increase your masculine energy, then be an initiator and a giver in all areas of your life. And remember, being generous is not just a sign of strength, but also a sign of confidence and security in yourself. Now go out there and give it your all. Number four, power posture. Believe it or not, the way you carry yourself can say a lot about your attitude. Most communication is unspoken. Your body language says more than your words ever can. Accordingly, what you want to do is make sure you're sending the right signals. How can you do that? Firstly, you got to stand up straight with your shoulders back and your chest exposed. You need to make sure you're not afraid to take up some space and walk with purpose. And please, for the love of all that is holy, wear clothes that fit you properly. Nothing kills your confidence like wearing clothes that are too tight or too baggy. 
You know that standing in a Superman position for two minutes can increase testosterone by 20%? 20%. If that's not a way to amp up your masculine energy, we're not sure what is. So strike that pose and feel the power coursing through your veins. But it's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. When you have a good posture, you'll feel more confident, calm, and secure. That's a much better way to go through life than feeling closed off and small. Stand tall, look people in the eye, and send those unconscious signals that you're the confident, secure man you were meant to be. Number five, amp up your assertiveness. Now, it's time to learn how to stick up for yourself and assert your opinions and needs. Let's get one thing straight. Being assertive doesn't mean being aggressive or confrontational. All it means is that you know your needs and opinions are just as valid as anyone else's. Just think about it. If you don't stick up for yourself, who else will? Now, if you feel like your boundaries are being overstepped or you're not being respected, it's time to speak up. Don't bottle everything up just to keep the peace. That's a one-way ticket to resentment and frustration. Sure, speaking up can feel uncomfortable at first, but trust us, it's worth it in the long run. How can you start? just by practicing asserting yourself in small ways, like saying no to something you don't want to do or asking for what you need in a relationship or at work. Just remember that you have the right to be heard and to have your needs met. Remember, it's not about being aggressive, it's about knowing your worth and demanding respect. And well, you will just inspire others to do the same. Number six, being conscious about what you're putting into your body. It's time to look at the most neglected habit that affects your masculine energy more than you realize. Your diet. We all know that junk food is not the way to go if you want to feel like a real man. But fear not, you don't have to switch to some extreme diet like paleo to see an improvement. You can just start by eliminating all those sugary and processed foods from your diet. Trust us, your body will thank you for it. But don't worry, we know what you're thinking. But what about cheat days? I can't live without my pizza and ice cream. Well, here's the thing. Once you start feeling the benefits of eating a clean diet, you might just find that those cheat days aren't as tempting as they used to be. Who needs a cheat day when you feel like a superhero all the time? And let's not forget about the fact that a clean diet can send your testosterone levels skyrocketing. That's right, you heard us. Eating clean can make you feel even more manly than you already are. So, if you want to increase your masculine energy, start by cleaning up your diet. Eliminate those sugary, ultra-processed foods and watch as your energy levels soar. Number seven, growth mindset. We know what you're thinking. What the heck is a growth mindset? Well, let us break it down for you. A growth mindset basically means that you have to believe that you can develop and grow regardless of what life throws your way. It's all about being resilient and determined, even when things get rough and tough. For example, if you lose your job, instead of drowning your sorrows in a pint of ice cream, you can see it as an opportunity to improve your skills and find a better job. No one wants to work at a dead-end job anyway. Plus, cultivating a growth mindset is all about seeing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles to overcome. More than that, it's about embracing the process and learning from your mistakes instead of beating yourself up over them. And the best part? Working on a growth mindset will not only make you more opportunistic, but it will also increase your masculine energy. Because what's more manly than facing challenges head on and coming out on top? To become the unstoppable forces of nature, you gotta commit yourself to this mindset. Embrace the challenges that life throws your way and use them as opportunities to grow and develop. Do you practice any of these habits on a daily basis? Let us know in the comments. Until then.